This is going to be a short little video about how to use Image Play. It's a little app on your iPad and you can download it. It's right here, Image Play. And it makes static images uh, into a GIF. It also makes GIFs out of lots of other things and you can do all sorts of other things with it. But for our purposes, I want you to take your static images and make them into a GIF. So the first thing you have to do is make your static images. I talked about that in my other videos. You might also want to make a storyboard for first and then make your static images, but eventually you have to get your static images into your photos app. So here are a bunch of static images that I already made. They're in my photo app already. Okay, so you're going to open up the image play app and you want to allow access to all photos. If you want just selected photos, you have to go in and select the exact photo, photos you want the app to use and it won't, it, it won't allow you to add more. So my advice is to allow access to all photos, use the app for the project, and then when you're done, you can delete the app off your iPad no problem and be done with it if you don't want it, uh, if you want some privacy, if you're concerned about privacy issues and you don't want to have it accessing your photos all the time. So I'm going to choose allow access to all photos. Moments are certain moments that the iPad and the phone identify videos or what videos are on there on your photo app. Photos obviously are photos that are in your photo stream, which you're going to use. If you happen to have any GIFs, it will show live photos. Bursts are what I, is identified as a burst uh, on your iPad. Search GIFs. You don't want to do that for this project, but in the future, if you want to make GIFs from other GIFs, you can just combine GIFs and make a crazy GIF image. Transparent background, if you choose it, you can actually make a GIF from scratch using all the things at the bottom. And importing, you can import some different things yourself from other places, Dropbox, iCloud, uh, your drive. So we're going to use the photo stream. So go ahead and open up the photo stream. These are my photographs in my photo stream. And as you can see, I already made my static images, right? And you're going to do that ahead of time, either with your storyboard, and then you create them with Sketch App or in Photoshop. So one of the, one or wherever, wherever, Procreate, whatever you're using. You have to save them out as JPEGs, which I showed you how to do in the other video, and then they will be placed into your photo stream. Once they're in the photo stream, you can use them in this app. So what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and select them. Now you do want to select them. If you don't select them in the right order, you can, whoops, it says press and hold the thumbnails to change the sequence, and that is true. So you, even if you make a mistake, you can go ahead and um, change them afterwards. I'm just going to select them all first, and then you can see if we need to change one, like let's just say I put two in by mistake. Um, you can click and hold and then reorder them. Let's check the beginning. That looks about right, but let's say I wanted that first. You could do that. I could get rid of this white if I wanted to. This is just a regular white box, and I don't need two whites at the end, so I'm going to get rid of one. Once you have them all in the sequence the way you want them to be, then you hit Done and hit Make, and it will make a quick little GIF. Now it's going to come in at a speed down at the bottom. There's a hare and a tortoise, and you can make it slower. You can make it faster. I'm going to put it at about 36. And there's all sorts of other things. There's cropping, text on top of it, filters, stickers, borders, logos can be put on here. This is nice to make a quick little gift for a brand. You can sketch on top. You can start all over again by hitting revert, doing mosaic patterns. I'm going to put a border on here. So I'm going to choose black. It will be fine. It's not perfect, but then that's it. So give it a border if you have a white background. If you don't have a white background, then that's fine. It, the colored background will create the edges itself. So you're all set. You have it the speed that you want it to be. And then you hit um, the X and then you hit save. So it's going to ask you, 
Do you want to remove the watermark? You don't because that you have to pay $8 for that. You don't have to do that. You can share it out. You can put it in GIF Viewer, make it a live photograph if you want. You could text it to somebody, but I need you to save it. I need you to save it as a GIF at high, looping, and save it to your photos.